Beethoven Ragtime Pianist, and I love to arrange music. As you can see, I did my piano reviews and also my keyboard reviews. But right over here, this is the Roland G70. This right over here is the most powerful arranger workstation that Roland has ever made till this day that I know of. Um, so I have one here in mint condition. I want to go full throttle with it. I want to go through a lot of features. So this is going to be a long video. So sit back, relax, get your popcorn out, and let's take a ride with the Roland G70. Now, one thing that I have to give credit to Roland, they know how to make a really professional, sleek look into their Arranger workstations. Everything from the G800 all the way up looks so professional, just like on their top of the line workstations. And as you can see, everything is laid out professionally. Now, on this side of the keyboard over here, this is where the sounds happen. You have 1,596 sounds and 48 drum kits. But the best part about it too is that you have three band EQ on each one of those sounds. So if you were to edit any of those sounds right over there, you have a three band EQ of how you like those sounds. On the other side of the keyboard, you have 285 styles plus 12 families. And also you have 14 custom areas right over here. So you can actually keep on adding more and more styles. Now, which includes 300 styles. You have the style control, which also has four variations, four fill-ins, four intros, and four endings. You can have the synchro start, synchro stop, and also you can have a retard at the end, which slows the rhythm down. The heart and soul of the keyboard right over here is the big laid out touch screen. It is so beautiful. The colors come in very, very nice. It is 320 by 240 of the size of the screen. On the bottom here, you have the harmonic bars, just basically for the VK organs draw bars that is actually built into the G70. On top of that, it could be used as a mixer and also as a tone editor. Now, what Roland did is throw in some extra toys. As you can see right over here, there's a D-beam controller. All you have to do is wave your hand and you can have DJ gears, just like DJ scratching, you have sound effects, just like a dog barking. You have instruments, just like a harp glissando. And you have control if you want to slow down, speed up the tempo, or even stop it at an instant. Another cool added feature that's basically for Arranger Workstation keyboards is the vocal harmonizer. So with the vocal harmonizer, you have your own dedicated tactile sections right over here. So which is cool. You have your talk, voice effects, auto pitch, singer, and you have your harmony, which is your vocoder, small, and ensemble, your dedicated effect, and also you have your mic input gain. You want to record a song in an instant? Well, check it out. You got a 16 track linear sequencer right over here, which includes overdub, mix recording, and also auto punch. On top of that, the sequencer recorder is also used to actually create your own style rhythms for your own user banks. What Arranger workstation is not complete without a joystick. Right over here, you have a pitch bend modulation joystick that can go side to side and up and down. What if you need to call up the grand piano in an instant? Guess what? You got the easy settings over here. So you have a dedicated grand piano button. So just in an instant, you could just press that button and call up the best grand piano sound ever. Plus, you have an organ button right over here, which will call up the VK settings of the organ draw bars. And also, you have the arranger features, which will turn on the auto bass chords that are on the arranger. The one touch setting feature right over here, what you can do is basically you can call up a rhythm and then if you don't want to assign any instruments yourself, the one touch setting assigns the instruments for you. So you have four different levels on them. Oh, there's many musicians that basically could play a song, but they can't play it in the same key that you sing it in. That's why you have over here, these dedicated transpose buttons. One going sharp and one going flat. You press them both at the same time and you're back at your original position. Over here, you got the tone effects, which is multi effects, and you have your melody intelligent, which is basically you could play one finger and it will play a cold chord for you, depending on what chord did you play on the arranger. 
And last but not least over here, you have your V-Link. So if you want, you can control video images at the same time while you play. And I think that is really, really cool. Underneath the massive volume, you also have your balance for your accompaniment and your keyboard. And also if you wanted to basically take out some of those external sounds right over here. And also you have your assignable switches. So not only that you're fade in and fade out, but you can assign it to any parameter that you want. What's the matter? You can't find your favorite song style or even user program? Guess what? You got a dedicated buttons for finders for that. One thing that I absolutely love about this instrument is that you can layer basically six instruments at the same time. Right above is the buttons over here that you can tone assign and on the bottom is your part on and off. So you can switch them, you can layer them, and also you can split them. Now to show you the back connections of this keyboard. This is really where it gets really interesting. So you got the famous Roland G70 logo, which is right there. And I love the way how this logo is. It's big, it's bright. So when you're on stage, people know you have a G7. This is the uh, Roland tag that Roland actually puts on all of their keyboards. And you have the voltage, basically tells you about the voltage. It tells you about the model number and it tells you about the serial number. And as you can see, there's an E right by the serial number. So that's class E right there. Um, this Roland was actually a product of Europe and it's made in Italy. Over here, you have the AC uh, power connection and you can use a three prong like a regular computer or you can use the two prong that it actually came. You have the power on. So you could put the power on and put it off. It's a push button and really cool because it kind of actually camouflages right into the back of the keyboard. You have your outputs. So, you have your main outputs, which is your stereo right and left, and also you can have it mono, or you have your direct outputs, which is basically stereo right and left. Right in the back here, which is really, really cool, you have your vocal harmonizer. Your vocal harmonizer has an input, which is an XLR, and also a quarter inch that can actually go into it. On top of that, you have your line and your mic switch and your dedicated outputs. So if you want your vocal harmonizer to go to a separate output, you actually have external sound source. That's your audio in. So if you wanna put your iOS, iPhone, or Android to it, you can. And also it has basically the RCA connection. You have your own dedicated metronome out. So if you want your drummer to follow along with you, he can hear the click track and you have your own separate level. Of course, you have all this mumbo jumbo right over here. It says caution, shock. If you open up the unit, do not open. You have your own video output. So your own video output, um, you can actually put the settings from the touch screen of the computer, or as to say the keyboard, and decide what kind of video output do you like on it. You have a PCMCIA card. This is basically your compact flash card which this compact flash card, you can actually put an adapter and you can use a, um, a micro SD card or you can use a USB. Plus, you have the internal memory protect. You have your dedicated USB. This is USB for MIDI and also it's USB to transfer um, different files like styles and sounds and songs that you want. You have your dedicated MIDI jacks in, out and through the five pin which is really neat. You have your foot switch sources and your foot pedals. So you have your own dedicated foot pedal, foot switch, and foot hold for your sustain, your volume pedal, or your regular stop and start pedal. The FC7 pedal is good. So if, say for instance, if you get the FC7 pedal, you can assign it to whatever you want. So if you wanted to play stop and start your, your styles or even your song, you can actually sign those pedals to it. And of course, you have the famous Roland logo, which is very good, so you know that it's a Roland keyboard that you're playing. Also in the back of it, which I don't have, um, because I bought this keyboard used, you have those two little holes. Those are actually for the music desk. And I'm still trying to find one of those on eBay, which is the, ma music, the matching music desk for it, because it'll make this Roland look really good. Now on the bottom of the keyboard, as you can use your handy screwdriver right over here, which is a Phillip, you have an SRX expansion slot. So uh, usually the expansion upgrade kit, which is called 
the Roland SRJV G01, which includes basically 76 new tones, six drum kits, 30 new styles, and also it has to be used with OS version two. So I have OS version two on here, I just don't have the expansion board. So instead of that, I have two SRX expansion boards. One of them is the SRX 03, and the other one is the SRX 07. The SRX 03 is the Studio SRX, and SRX 07 is the Ultimate Keys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the Studio SRX inside here, and it just goes in that slot and click slide in. Then all you have to do is put back those four screws and you have your expansions. I wish it takes two expansions so I could put both of them, but it's okay. That's the more sound. The soul of the keyboard is the keyboard itself. You have a 76 key pro action that is not only velocity sensitive and is also after touch. So one thing about this keyboard that I love is that the style of the keys is basically long, just like an acoustic grand piano. Not bad for a synth weighted action because you actually have weights on the bottom of the keys which is very nice. 76 keys using a transpose or octave button can get you to all of those octaves. Well, after doing all that work, you're gonna have to save your songs or your style somehow. So guess what, everybody? This Roland G70 is equipped with a SSD solid state disc, which is also 62.4 megabytes approximately. And also it has 27.4 megabytes as preload factory data. It is also on a new fat disk optimize. Guess what too? You can also save it as a floppy. Last but not least, you definitely want to play in private. So if you don't want anybody to hear your songs, you have right in front a dedicated headphone jack. Well, Throughout all my years of collecting keyboards, pianos, organs, and also workstation keyboards, and even a range of workstations, I gigged out with a lot of them. And I tell you this, this machine right over here, the G70, it's not a light keyboard. Number one is that the casing is very, very um, robust, as you can see. It's very, very stacked. Um, you have a metal casing on here. So this keyboard does carry some weight. This keyboard is actually 45 pounds and four ounces. So when I had to um, gig out with this keyboard, I actually had to get a, um, a wide range 76 key case for it because it's same, basically it's the same case as my Roland VA76. Um, carrying this keyboard, it does carry some extra pounds, but once I put it on stage and once I perform with it, it's all forgotten. Now let's dig more deep with the sounds and the features of this beast right over here. Okay, so now we're going to dig into the sounds. The very first sound that when you load up the Roland G70 is going to be the Stereo Sample Grand Piano. Their patch is called the Grand X. Now if you ever played, say for instance, a Roland Phantom X series keyboard or workstation, Every single key on the piano has been sampled four different velocities. So you're gonna get that four layered sampled sound. Check this out. I get that magnificent X-Series sample that's on here. I think Roland usually samples from Steinway. That's my guess on it. But, oh my gosh, that, that piano sound is phenomenal. So, let's dig deeper into the piano sound. And what I want to do is I want to play um, the Honky Tonk Piano. The Honky Tonk Piano, since the G800, had basically every single note was different. So... Just like an old honky-tonk upright, 
So if I was going to do something like... Uh, You get the sound canvas, the original sound canvas piano. So, um, like we haven't even missed that sound, right? <laughs> You also have electric pianos, so if I go into a different category, you have the electric pianos. I'm going to start with the um, the Vintage EP. Vintage EP is pretty cool. Check this out. EP. Uh, actually, let's try the Phaser EP, which is really neat. FM piano, so this is their um, their version of the Yamaha DX7, which is really good. That's good when it's very low. Let's see how it, if I attack it just a little bit. Very good sample. Copyright um, <laughs> infringements. I have to make it my own song. Nice, nice. So many sounds on here. Okay, so let's go into um, the chromatic percussion. Chromatic percussion, one of the sounds that I really like on here was uh, Celeste. So if I do something like. Uh, that's very high for Celeste, bud. Yeah, that. This is the most realistic music box that I've ever heard coming out of um, out of any keyboard, basically. I mean, they, they pepped up a lot in their, um, their chromatic percussions. Here's the tubular bell. You got the carillon. Which is really neat. You have tons of stuff in the chromatic percussion line. Okay, so you, got the, you have your regular organ settings right here. So this one is called... Um, this was called B3 Simon, which is... R&B B3. It actually says B3 on there. That's, that's surprising. Also, you got... Uh, this is called Steve's B3 right here at all. Then you got church organs. Yeah. 
organ flutes. A dedicated organ button right over here so it splits the keyboard in two so this is one half and that's another half right over there and you can what I like to do is I like to have it in hold and take off the, the lower part of it and you have right over here below the screen you, you have your dedicated draw bars so this is really cool so let's uh, let's mute all of them and put them all up so you can hear So check this out. And Leslie. you have a dedicated organ button and you get to set your own presets and everything which is really good but check this out let's go back to piano got a button for that too So for your tone wheel organ fans out there, if you really want to play this just like a tone wheel organ, get your B3 settings up on there, all you're going to need is basically to find one of these. And this over here, this is the Roland PK5A. This is the dynamic MIDI pedal. And it's also touch sensitive basically for your feet. And at the same time, you can also control your stop start, your fill-ins, your intros, any of your style controls you can actually just basically control. This is a perfect, perfect addition to this Roland G70. So let's go into more instruments. Say for instance, this is what I what really attracted me was the accordion sounds. And this is called the Massey Accordion. And it's from their V series accordion library. And oh my gosh, you can actually hear the tabs coming from the bellows and everything, which is really good. <laughs> That's sick. Sick classic accordion, which is Bandoniums. So here we go. <laughs> and you have a whole accordion section right over here. Uh, this is also you have um, harmonica. So this is a hand harmonica. That's cool. You have a whole bunch of them. Basic, uh, and actually not basic. Yeah, blues harmonica blade basic. So, wow. And this is another one. Very, very down to the point. 
So getting into our guitar area, the guitar area right over here you have stuff from the V guitar uh, series which is basically physical modeling and check this out, I'm going to transpose to, to basically um, B and wow, nice right? So if I press it hard you get that buzzing noise. the steel string version of it. That buzz. Um, this also right over here, this, this is called V Acoustic Guitar One. Of really good stuff. I wonder what the 12 string sounds like. So it's like. Ooh. Just imagine doing some arrangements, your own arrangements with these guitars. Uh, okay, this one over here, this is uh, the V, uh, nylon, and steel together. all your acoustic guitars in one section and also you have all of your electric guitars in one section check this out distortion so I could split it with the bass if I wanted to which is really good um, you also have basses on here too so this one over here this is a regular finger bass I think it has a little bit too much reverb on it slap bass Uh, yeah, synthesized bass like rubber. And you got tons and tons and tons of stuff. But what I want to show you, um, like say for instance, this one's called Guitar Scat. What is that? Let's hear that. Wow. So you have tons of other stuff right here. This is rock rhythm. Let's see what that sounds like. That's it. That's it. You got that distortion, like a blown speaker kind of kind of a simulation on here. You also have another effect on here. It's called guitar mode. And with the guitar mode, I hope you guys can see it from the screen over there, but with the guitar mode, um, you can turn it on, and it actually turns on the arranger, but whatever chords you have here, see it's strumming, and it's, it's basically in different zones. yet but you know really cool um so you have that and you can get it to electric guitar 
So I haven't had time to actually figure that out. Uh, one thing that I know is that you can go to your option tools and you can uh, enable and disable what you want on here. Say for instance your re-trigger, your cord muting on and off, your um, I was going to say your noises, like your guitar noises, um, everything. Your auto sustain, your, your pedal hold and everything. So you can do something with the pedal and your doubling, which is really neat. And I think that's pretty cool for the guitar mode. That's only av um, available in version 2. So if you don't have version 2 for this, make sure you download version 2. It's um, unbelievable. I think I have version 2 point something on here, which is really cool. Uh, also, version 2 gives you more um, voices which is pretty cool. Okay, so I'm at the string section right over here, and what I want to do is I want to play some of my favorite string patches. Here it is. And that string that string patch has that that delay, you know, which is pretty cool. Um, we also have a string, a slow string patch. You also got the JPH strings. And not only that you have strings, but you also have like the bread and butter sounds. Like say for instance the orchestra hit from General Midi, which is good. <laughs> Pizzicato. Nice harp. And this one over here, this is pretty cool. This is called an X violin. I think it's supposed to be like their solo violin. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, you have so much stuff in the orchestra category. Uh, like, say, for instance, one of them that I really, really like on here is the cello section. Also in your vocal category, you have your ums, your ahs, your ums, and also you have one called a rich choir. Check this out. This is from the SRX library. This one's called a stereo uh, choir. Nice. Okay, let's try 
require real choir. <laughs> some jazz choirs. So say for instance, uh... I like that because you <laughs> Nice, nice, nice. Uh, so you have all of that. Uh, this is your V church choir. So remember, the Vs are a little bit special. <laughs> in the choir section, which is pretty cool. Okay, let's go to the brass. This is the X brass right here. Nice. Okay, this is called a V trombone. On this side, it's, it's not that. When you press hard, you get that drum. So how about this? That's weird. Weird. Tuba? tuba okay and i'll see you get uh this is called jump brass right here sorry if i mess up because i haven't played the song for years <laughs> French horns. Let's try the French horns right here. It has some really good solo brass sections, I tell you that. I tell you that. This is so nice. I mean, I'm smiling with it. Uh, octave brass. Kind of quacky. Quacky, but it's 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 okay. Uh, okay, so let's go into uh, there was one of them right here, Twin Bones, right over here. category which is going to be the sax and the trumpets and I'm very interested to hear how they sound which is really good solo wise not with the um, accompaniments this right over here this is called a blow alto vibrato so it's the saxophone with the vibrato on it 
Try the baritone sax. Nice. Wow, wow. If my hands were not so cold because of this air conditioning, I could do better solos, everybody. I'm sorry. Okay, this is soprano sax. Nice. Okay, uh, this one is one of my favorite trumpet sounds over here. This trumpet sound is actually called a V, which is virtual uh, mariachi trumpet. So here it is. You have that one, and also you have this one called a romantic. You also have some articulations right over here. Wait, wait, before I do that, let's do the V mute trumpet. Woo. Hands are cold. That's really good. I just feel like I'm touching the trumpet. All right, next one, this is the super articulation. It's called Mariachi Shake. Some sample, almost like the 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 Genos, you know. Okay, this is romantic shake. Sorry, it's called V Romantic and Mariachi, so I could go Mariachi and Romantic. That is sick, sick. Uh, and you have other stuff on here that is, like, in the same category. Oriental sax? What is that? Nice. <laughs> okay. So now we're into woodwinds, like this, kind of like the woods, woodwinds and, um, and flutes and ocarinas and stuff like that. So here is, this one's called a flute vibrato, uh, attack. Sounds so real. Beautiful, beautiful. Jazz clarinet. Okay, let's try, uh, let's try an oboe. Beautiful. How about the pan float? Very nice and breathy. Gracefully, uh, bassoon is considered as the clown instrument. And it was so let's try it. 
mais som? That whistle woke up, woke up the cat. It just woke up the cat. I guess you can see the background trap just, just shaking and everything. Um, all right, so that's part of that category. We also have synthesizers right over here. So this one over here, here's one called Exhale. <laughs> had some really good synth sounds so I have no complaints about that um, okay brightness which is a general MIDI sound <laughs> new age pad how about that like an XP80 on here which is really cool because it brings me back okay this is a D50 uh, this is called the uh, Retour Are turning every time I hear these sounds. That is so cool. Uh, D50 saw. What is that? <laughs> that tail at the end is nice, nice, nice. A Juno bell. Oh, yeah. So there's tons, lots, lots. Let's go to the next category. Next category we have like, this is called the pad and the ethnic sounds. So pad sounds, say for instance, you have the regular general MIDI soundtrack. See what else? What is this? Rotary string. Also, you have the ethnic stuff like the sitar. Cool. 
that's cool. Uh, what is this over here? Here's another sitar. That one sounds much better. Human pad. I wonder what that sounds like. JP8 uh, Hollow. Try Dream Pad. Okay, uh, keep on going. Warm JP strings. By the way, it's raining, by the way, if you can hear some other noises. So the best, best bagpipes I've ever heard was on the Yamaha Geno. So let's tr test this out. Bazooki. Rizzo Panner. <laughs> it's driving my cat crazy. She's right there. Um, okay, so that is cool. That is really cool. Let's go to the next category. Next category is called percussion sound effects. So you got stuff like a car stop. Gunshot. Steel drums. What is this in the, I guess this percussion area. This is really cool. A go-go's. You 
know, it's really neat. Um, car engine. Explosion. Small club. Thank you. Thank you so much. Really neat. Uh, his thunder. Just like what you're hearing out there. First the rain. Then the thunder. Here's the win. So, basically in the drum category, I can show you all of these sounds. You go through each and every one of these sounds. There's hundreds and hundreds of sounds on here. And plus, you can make up your own sound with a three-part EQ. Um, it is sick. It's phenomenal. It's really, really cool. Another thing that I want to show you is that over here, you have your own dedicated SRX expansion board uh, button. So, say for instance, this right over here, this is called a Y2K uh, Plus Piano. guitar right over here. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the expansions in another category video because not only have the expansions from here, I got the other one that's outside uh, the box and stuff like that. And also I have the, um, I have four more on my Phantom. So expansion day is going to be a whole totally different video. Okay, so now we are in the drum category. Drums are phenomenal on this thing. You get most of the drums from the V-Drum library. And so say for instance, um, just go key by key. If I go up, like, let me go up an octave so I can show you from there, uh, or two octaves actually. So you got samples galore on this bad boy. So say for instance, um, back to the drums, the hi hat. pop kit right here so if I go into uh, his one called R&B kit drum flam sick that's killer um, you also got the V rock Fiesta. But most of the drum 
sounds that you're going to hear is going to be basically on the rhythms, uh, like all the styles that are on here. You're going you're gonna to hear a lot of the drum sounds from here. Um, just to give you some more examples, here's a dance. Here's a jungle. Not bad. Um, multi drums. Let's hear what that sounds like. Ah, ooh, hi, hi. One, two, three, four. Wow. Okay, one of my favorites, uh, the vocal jazz. I'm uh, oh, sorry, this is the uh, sorry the V drums jazz brush. Even the cymbals. Different harmonics on it. So let's, let's try to see if we can find the. Um, this is the uh, the V vocal drums. <laughs> nice, nice. You also have your uh, ethnic, so uh, let you listen to it. Asian. I'm just going to go through each and every note right here. And you have your Oriental. here you have your sound effects so your sound effects like say for instance your regular sound effects uh, let's do this one first it's gonna sound like this which is your GS sound effects <coughs> So then you have your sound effects too, which is uh, and other key they started it first. Roland started it first, and other key other companies kind of copied. Let's see if I can find it right here. This video is called Full Throttle. Huh. That's that Michael Jackson. Um, what was I going to say? Um, nobody cares about us. You know, when he does that.
I'm in love with this damn thing. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna show you. I was gonna show you this in another video, uh, probably extension to this video. But these are like the SRX um, drum kits right here. Some of them don't have symbols. I don't know. That symbol though, you know, that's one thing about it. How about this one? Same thing. So, it has some really good sounds on it though, which is good. So, I can't wait until I get the, um, the, the actual upgrade sound kit that is um that is an expansion that's supposed to be on here i'm going to look for it i know this keyboard was made in 2006 uh so i know that i probably won't be able to find it but if i do keep your eyes out uh you can message me if you find it it's called the srx uh g01 which is pretty cool what is an arranger keyboard the arranger keyboard is basically your backup band so it's going to be all your styles, you have your drums, your guitars, your basses, your keys, your brass section, including your string section, depending on what kind of style you have. So right now, the very first style that's up on here is called from the live band um, category. And this one is called cool live band. So here it is. I'm just going to play intro four. Transitions. So let's go to, remember you have four variations. So let's go to variation one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the mode from a ranger. It's actually to a intelligent left. So that's your first intro. Number two. That's your second variation, second fill in, and then second intro. Okay, so now let's go to number three. So this is your third variation, third fill in, third intro. ending not your intro sorry about that so you have many different categories on here um, so I'm gonna start with basically the 8-bit cat I've said the 8 uh, beat category and let's go to like 70s pop and now what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna play any of the styles right over here what I want to do is I want to let you guys just actually hear the style so I'm gonna be playing mostly intros endings and sometimes I might jump between um, style variations so here we go this one over here is called the 70s pop.
thing on this keyboard that you have luminous buttons over here, you know, they actually tell you where you're at with the luminous buttons. A lot of the um, high-end arranger keyboards and even the, even the uh, synthesizers have the luminous buttons. So um, they have LED that's right underneath it that could tell you if it's going to be blue or green or red or yellow. And it's pretty cool because all of them are blinking and it looks, well, it looks really nice. Very professional look. Okay, how about this? This one's called a fast beat. Here we go. I mean, the styles are beautifully laid out. This one's called a light pop. So I'm just jumping around everybody. Here it is. That organ gives it such an awesome touch. It's phenomenal. What is so easy? That's what I wanted to know. Okay, here we go. I mean, Roland, they always had a good reputation ever since the E series, like the E20, of really good rhythm styles. All right, so let's go and let's go to another category. I'm going to go to the 16 beat category. And in the 16 beat category, let's see, one of my favorite ones that I like to hear is, I don't know, I, let's try the power pop. Here we go. Okay, how about the, uh, let's see, let's try Dream Ballad. And it goes like this. Here, I'm gonna try it in the minor key, like minor C. That's in a minor key. Okay, so let's go back to the live band area. Live band, let's try real band, see what that sounds like. Let's try. 
nice. Okay, here's one called Acoustic Pop. Let's try that one. Let's do that in key of E. Not bad for 2006. 2006, as I said, this keyboard was um, built in 2006. Not bad. It's still way before its time. Okay, so let's go to the next category, which is rock. So I'm going to do, let's try uh, big rock. Here we go. How about Groovy Rock? Let's try that one. Impressed. It's way before its time. All right, what's Happy Beat? I'm, I'm curious. Happy Beat. Try uh, the metal, new metal. Here you go. Next category. Okay, this is the dance category over here. So we got it from rock. Let's go to, uh, let's see, Euro dance. Here we go. Company, if you're watching, don't ever give up a range of keyboards. Keep making them. Keep making them. Bring back the KR series of digital pianos, please. Uh, bring back the G series. Make it a G1000 or, or not, I'm sorry, a G2000 or something. There's already, there's already a, a G1000. Okay, this is Ibe Ibez Jazz. 
I'm sorry, dance. I must ja dance. Huh, I'm so excited right now. Okay, what's House, um, House Mel, Melrog? Who, who, make, who makes up these names? Let's, let's see what this sounds like. I'm gonna do it in minor. dance everybody so don't, I just like to move my hips you know that's one thing about it all right uh, let's see oh we got discos right over here okay what's a berry dance let's hear the berry dance I don't like to play anything while the styles are going if I'm demonstrating because it, it demonstrates itself basically. Okay, this is the 70s uh, disco. <laughs> Gypsy dance. Not bad, not bad. Next category. Oh, okay. So, as I said again to people in the first video when I was doing the VA76, the best hip-hop that I've ever heard coming from a keyboard was basically the Yamaha DJX series. So, um, this is Roland's version of hip-hop. I know I get people that say, that's not hip-hop. You know, most of my hip-hop friends do always do that. Uh, breathe rap. Let's hear what that sounds like. credit for trying I mean that was really good okay this is called hip-hop beat let's, uh, let's just try regular hip-hop how about that a hip-hop beat here we go
uh, contemporary pop. Let's hear that. Let's do it in the key of uh, key of A. <laughs> Okay, how about this? Let's go to uh, Soul. I knew they were going to do some kind of ending like that. <laughs> okay, how about this one? This one's called Funky Pop. I like the guitar on this one. Uh, here you go. machine this beautiful workstation that's very rare I will never give it up just like my Yamaha Geno so I'll never give it up same thing with my VA 76s I love them okay so next category we're into the ballroom category everybody so let's do uh, let's see what this is Wayne um, it's called Wayne Waltz so <laughs> Orchestrations. What can I say? Awesome. Okay, how about this? This is called a slow waltz.
as I said, I'm going to make a video of comparing the Roland G70 with the Yamaha Genos. I know you guys have been waiting for that video. It's still coming. I'm still trying to figure out how to do it. And my cat's in the back right over here. You can see, I think she wants to come out and, and join us. Uh, she will soon. All right, so uh, let's see. This is Jive. See here how they're um this is the tango. V accordion going. They did a, such a great job. I met every when I was at Nam. Everybody, I met everybody at Roland. They're so phenomenal, unbelievable. I love, I love everybody at Roland. Okay, samba. two more right here let's see on this category I want to do uh, oh wow there's lots of them here so much of them uh, actually let's go to the next category <laughs> oh this is my favorite category this is actually the jazz blues so if I wanted to do like a big band slow listen to this I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it major first and I'm gonna do it minor Harlem Nights with Eddie Murphy and uh, Richard Pryor and Arsenio Hall, Jasmine Guy and everything. That's what I feel like I'm with Red Fox. How can I forget Red Fox? That's I feel like I'm the band leader of Harlem Nights. Okay, this one over here, this is the big band fast. So I'm going to play this major, minor, and seventh. Just the intros and the endings on here. 
because they're all different. So here you go. Uh, let's do it. Same thing. Key of E flat. <laughs> is a uh, orchestra swing The G series always had some really good arrangements on here. Um, I love it. Here's one of my favorite ones. This is the, called the Scat Swing, which I um, showed you on the VA-76. It's probably the same one. category uh, this is called the 60s of uh, 50s and 60s so you get stuff like uh, here's oldies right over here the 60s rock and roll. Let's hear that. <laughs> go rock and roll. Here you go. Uh, actually, you know what? Let me, I'm going to show you from uh, intro three.
This one's called Cool Slow Rock. What about the other slow rock? Let's try that one. Uh, this is okay. Here we go. Good. Even my cat liked it. She's right over there. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's uh, let's see what else we got right over here. Um, oh, this is cool. This is a blues boogie. Let's try that one. <laughs> What you have to see over here my cat is just having such a great time uh okay i'll see you got other stuff right over here like if i wanted to charleston Okay, so next category, uh, here's a bossa nova, orchestra bossa nova. Sunshine uh, Bossa Nova. and over. Let's see what that sounds like. Samba. this acoustic samba. Let's hear that one. It has that 
that rolling, rollingest chords. You know, the chords that Roland uses for this stuff. Okay, so next category. Uh, this one's called, uh, let's try Fast Gypsy. Mambo. this merengue well there's two merengues okay there's regular merengue and there's fast merengue so here we go Give you flat. category. Uh, this one over here, this is called Pop Box. Slow Country. This one's called Country Rock. gonna cover every single rhythm on here but this is phenomenal so say for instance if I wanted a foxtrot March. That's 
sick. Okay, let's see what Island is. I think it's one of my favorite ones, Islands. <laughs> there's any rhythm sets you don't like on here you can actually load Roland has tons and tons of rhythms that are from the E5 or the E20 all the way up to today's rhythms um, including the um, the BK9 which is gonna be in another future uh, video so yeah they have so much rhythms it's unbelievable uh, last in this category let's do an orchestra waltz <laughs> All different kinds of sounds, all different kinds of genres on here. It is sick. So let me do this. I'm gonna go into the custom, um, and I'm I'm gonna load up the Epic Movie. And the Epic Movie, I'm just gonna show you just the intros and the endings of it because it is long. This is so you can make your own custom rhythms on here, and also at the same time you can make it as long as you want as. You could you could take um you could use Cakewalk or Cubase and do it on there and put it straight into here, which is very good. So this right here is the epic movie. Now I warn you, it is long. So here it is. everybody uh, here's a Western movie so you, you got the epic movie here's a Western movie right here Last but not least, I'm going to play one more custom rhythm. As I said, you have uh, four pages of custom rhythms, 
So you can do as much as you want as in custom rhythms right here. So um, check this out. This one is called The Amazing Gospel. that you have on here plus you can make your own rhythms you can't go wrong as I said if you could find one of these G70 especially in mint condition like this grab it I see them going for lower prices now grab it because this was the best rolling arranger ever that they made okay so I was mentioning in the beginning of the video about the Roland toys what I mean by toys is that the extra stuff that they actually put into their keyboards to make life a lot easier for you to do your live performances or your arranging so one of the toys that I wanted to talk about was the D beam feature this over here is pretty cool because say for instance um, if I go like over to DJ and I'm doing something like a hip-hop sound or a dance sound I just wave my hand and get a scratch <laughs> And you can assign any effects that you want on it, which is really cool. And this over here in the sound effects, if I wave my hand, I could get a chimes. And I have to apologize if it's too loud on there. There's a way that you can actually control that. Um, there's also the instrument category. So the instrument category, I could get harp. So depending on how you put your hand, I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, not only just a harp, say for instance if I want jazz scats, got that right there. And also you control uh, if you want to go chord octave or arpeggiation um, of the octave, you can do that too. So um, I just want to put this to uh, sound effects and I want to play just something out that's going to come from my mind. Basically, uh, use this um, intro, and here we go. that's really cool of the D-Beam um, that's on there as one of their toys. Okay, so the another part of the G70 that I absolutely love is the tactile style of the vocal harmonizer. Now, you don't have to have a separate unit just for it. Everything is built in right over here. So as you can see in this section, you have your vocal harmonizer. And over here you have your talk section, which is your auto pitch, your singer, your voice effect. Over here you have your vocoder, which is basically if you want it to be small, 
or even ensemble mode, which you could change in different modes. And over here, you have your effects and your gain input. So I have my microphone. Testing one, two, three, one, two, three. I have it on talk setting right now. So if, um, if I have it on talk setting, I can take that off and put it in singer mode. Hello. And singer mode, I can actually add some reverb, which is really neat. So give you an example with singer mode. I am gonna put this on small and I'm gonna play a style. Uh, hopefully it's not too loud, but I'm gonna play a style on here. Me, me, hello everybody. Now, just to warn you, I'm not a singer. I'm not a singer. I cannot hold a pitch. I can play the piano, but I cannot sing mostly. But um, this will correct basically my pitch. So I have it on singer or I have it on auto pitch and I have it on ensemble. But let me try, let me just see what happens because I haven't actually played around with this everybody. But uh yeah, yeah. So singer, how about that? Yeah yeah Woo. So if I want the vocal harmonizer You can see, as you can see, it actually does it in harmony, and also you can take it off. You can do a top setting. You can put whatever effects you want on there, no matter what key that you play it in, which is really cool. So um, you have that feature, and also you have the voice effect. Testing one, two, three. <laughs> I am the giant that is actually gonna come to your house, grab you and put you in a piece of bread and eat you up. <laughs> you are going to go in my belly. <laughs> no. I actually, that's one of the voice effects over here, which is really cool. So you can make yourself sound like a giant. Uh, let's see what else you got on here, different types. Um, this is really, really neat. Okay, so you got the talk effect right there. The voice effect right here. You know it's weird because on the vocal harmonizer, like I have it on the menu, and I can go to vocal harmonizing right there. So that's ogre singing. I can sound like my mouse, which is really cool. This is when you sound like a mouse. Uh, that's really nice. This is if I wanted to sound like a child. I sound like a little girl. <laughs> oh, Daddy, could you please give me a box of Crayola crowns? <laughs> okay. This right over here. Oh, this is cool. I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. Ha ka 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 ka! <laughs> okay. DJ singing. Hello. One, two, three. <laughs> Soprano! Ah! No, no, I'm not gonna even try. Radio, radio voice. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Chris Nicholson, and you have just joined the Chris Nicholson Show. That's pretty cool. Okay, how about a robot? Here's a tenor. Cool. Okay, let me lower my own voice. Uh, no, I guess not. I guess not. But that's really cool. Let's try it. That's called the tenor voice, which is really neat. Uh, that that's that is that is really really cool. Okay, over here you have um another boy called an alien. I am from the planet Kryptonite. 
No, that's Superman. But I'm from the planet Mars, as you can see. And you know what? Um, I like the way how my voice sounds like this. You could call me Skippy. How about that? Call me Skippy. So, what I could do is I could actually put uh, a dance beat on here. Let's see what this sounds like over here. My name is Skippy. My name is Skippy. Carried away right over there. <laughs> that is just too funny. Okay. This right over here. Oh wow, that's nice. This is a woman talking actually. Um. Okay. Um. Ladies and gentlemen, I got the kids in a car, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go take them to school, and then after that, I'll drop them off for piano lessons. How about that? That sounds very, very nice. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. That's neat. And this over here, this is the DJ talking. So, you want to scratch the mix, or you want... I can't rap, so don't even bother. But, you know, I bust a rap right over here. You want to scratch the mix. Waka, 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 yeah. <laughs> As you can see, this has a total awesome vocal harmonizer and vocal transformer. So, give you another example. Uh, let's go to, like, a bossa nova. Let's see what this jazz bossa nova is. And I want to go to singer. Testing one, two, three and harmonizing take off a little bit of reverb just like that and then so as you can see when you have it in talk mode you can actually have the music go down just a little bit. But when you have an ensemble, yeah. you can actually bring up the music if you wanted to, which is pretty cool. So, everybody, those are the vocal harmonizer features that are on this Roland G70. It's tactile right there, which is so cool. This has been an amazing journey. Thank you so much for joining me on this amazing journey with the Roland G70 Power Arranger Workstation. I tell you this, if you ever find one of these, please grab it. You would absolutely just love it. Just love it. And if it has version 2, that is even a plus. So, to end this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the preset demo that it came with. Here you go, and enjoy. everybody please do me a favor please subscribe click notification bells share this video with your friends and also write on your comments I'll be happy to answer
to today. If you're on Facebook, please click like, follow, and also subscribe too. Thanks.